On his way. Oh, well done. I'm sorry, Gav, but when Bring gets an idea in his head, that's it. We'll be all right. Might even be a laugh. Mm -hmm. I used to work down the dolphin, as it goes. If you see Carl, tell him I says all right. I don't know who Carl is. He's you got will. a tattoo that says I'm Carl <laughs> on his chin. <laughs> I have stayed. All right, Jace. How's it going, Ness? I won't like you. I've been better. You still gay? Yep. Cracking. Jace, this is Gavin. Gavin, this is my big brother, Jason. Oh, nice to meet you, Gavin. Good Loads about you, you mate. <laughs> How come you back so early? Well, I was coming over anyway for the wedding, like, and then I had a cancellation. So Jose said, "Well, why didn't you go back early?" And I thought, "Yeah." You know, why not? I'll go and spend some time with my little sister before she takes a plunge. Oh, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> no, I wish you told me you were coming. I got nothing in. There's no beers. I got a few eggs, a bit of ham, and that's it. Oh, I got you an omelette. <laughs> oh, nothing changes. <laughs> Have you tried this woman's omelette, Gav? Best in South Wales. Yeah, I've had one or two. Only me. I forgot to say, I. Uncle Bryn. You're back, huh? Well, you know the church, mm. and then this is where we're having the reception. And see these tables? They get moved, and that's where the dance floor is. What are you having for your first dance? I want a million love songs by Take That, but Gav wants How Deep Is Your Love. But the Take That version. Nice. What about food? Well, Gav's mum's vegetarian, so we're having these special little quiches made for us. Look, why don't you come in the front room with everyone else? This is not the stuff you know to me, Gwen. Real ton of bricks. He's here for ten days. Can't you at least try to be civil to him for Gavin and Stacey's sake? You two got on good as gold before that fishing trip. I don't want to talk about it. Why, Bryn? Why? Don't. What happened out there, Bryn? What went on? I can't say. No, I can't. Now, I will go that front row, and I will be polite, and I will be civil. But do not ask any more of me than that. Huh? Right, and how many more have you got coming for the evening? Jason, I think it's very thoughtful of you to come back early to support your sister and your mother. Thank you, Uncle Bryn. Uh, I appreciate that. And then for the cars, we got this. Nice. A Bentley. Yeah. We wanted a horse and carriage, but they totally ran out of horses. Really? Yeah. I was gutted. We're going to need our own cab for that day. There'll be that many people wanting a drink. Hey, don't forget, I can get four in the Picasso. Yeah, but Uncle Bryn... Oh, Doris will need a lift, and then Auntie Peg will need taking right to the door. Have you ever been in a Bentley before? Can't wait. Hang on a minute. I know. I mean the bridesmaids are going in a stretched Mercedes. I've been practising the walk. It's uh, right together, left together, and you go on my right. Can you stay? Look, um... Yeah, it's on the right. Walking down the aisle, man. It's terrifying, all those faces looking. Wait, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Jason, I'm so sorry, but you won't be giving me away. Oh. Why not? Right. Mum, I know it's what you wanted, but the thing is, since Dad died... Well, I don't know how we'd have coped if it wasn't for you, Uncle Bryn. And that's why I want you to give me away. As a thank you, really, for all that you've done for us. And I think it's what Dad would have wanted. So will you give me away? Be honoured. <laughs>